Hi everyone, it's Lane and I need to mention that this part of the tour is actually quite hard for me. I explained last year that I originally came to Vilnius to start exploring where my family started and unfortunately on my grandmother's side of the family it started in quite a catastrophic way being that she was involved in um, basically in 1942-1943 when they were beginning to evacuate all the Jewish people and taking them to concentration camps and many Lithuanians were affected by that process and what we need to understand and I've come to a bit of a quieter place in this area just because I don't want to upset anyone by talking about all this because it is quite an upsetting part of history but what we need to make no mistake about this part of history is this was genocide there is no other way to describe it that's exactly what it was so where I am at the moment is I am actually in the ghettos that was used by the Nazis in about 1942-1943 one of the first signs that you can immediately tell is actually um, part of the Jewish um, quarters is the fact that these buildings have got the shutters I can't point it with my fingers but the shutters are one of the first indications that this is part of Jewish architecture I don't actually remember why but what I do know is that's one indication that you can distinguish what was a Jewish home compared to a Lithuanian home I'm at the start of the ghetto here. I also don't remember this figure, but this figure behind me is actually a Jewish figure. And um, so what I'm gonna do as I take everyone through is I'm going to best relay this part of history as I can from my knowledge and from my memory. Like I said, this part of history and part of my family history is quite upsetting for me because my grandmother was, even though I'm in Vilnius currently, my grandmother was born and raised in Kaunas. In about 1942, 1943, she came home one day to find a home being burnt to the ground. The Nazis actually used fire to start uh, evacuating the Jewish population from Kaunas, but many Lithuanians were also affected by that, especially if their homes were actually had wood. And I believe, if I am correct in my memory, it is now Lithuanian law that wood is not allowed in any architecture for that reason. So um, basically in this ghetto area, some people, depending on your history and study of World War II and with the Nazis, Basically before um, Jewish people were taken to the concentration camps, they were taken to this area that I'll be walking you through now, which is the Jewish, what's known as the Jewish ghetto. And it was essentially a area that they could keep away from the remainder of the population. And it was relayed to them essentially the promise of a new land. So all the Jewish population were moved here in very poor conditions and many families just living in a small dwelling and so they were taken here with the promise of a new land work opportunities etc but it was really their next stop before they were taken to the concentration camps originally the control of the jewish population began with um with firstborn sons being taken away from the families and that's why you may have seen in history books with Jewish families trying to hide in um, in homes and many Lithuanians did actually hide Jewish people so that they could rescue their families and save them from being separated whilst their firstborn sons were being taken away then of course it didn't stop there it didn't stop at the firstborn sons it stopped at the entire families uh, disappearing and being taken to the concentration camps. So that's the relevance of the area that I'm walking you through now. Unfortunately, being that my limit, Lithuanian is extremely limited, I cannot read the signs, but we are about to go for a wonder through the, the uh, Jewish ghettos 
and as you can probably tell it's still quite upsetting for me this part of history because one of the reasons that I came to Lithuania last year is I made a promise to myself that one day I was going to pay my respects to the Jewish lives that were lost during these times and it was for that reason that my grandmother had to flee Lithuania because of the fact that many Lithuanians were also affected by this war also. But we need to remember and we need to make no mistake, this was nothing short of genocide and it still makes me just sick to my stomach what happened at this time. And I think it's an important time that we shouldn't forget in our history. I'm going to turn you around and take you for a little bit of a walk now and just to show you the the types of the dwellings that they were being moved into. You can still see signs on the outside of the buildings that the buildings have aged and the conditions weren't the best of the buildings. And remember that many of the Jewish families were kept in the one dwelling. So I'll turn you around now as we go for a bit of a walk. So these shutters are one of the first signs that uh, this is part of the Jewish dwelling. There is actually a particular area that I'm wandering around looking for and when I find it I'll probably do another live video then. Talk to you soon.